John, how long have you been coming to Punchestown? 40 years, since I was a kid. My father was a bootmaker before me, and he's retired now and I took over the business. And, and tell me about some of the changes that you've seen down the years. Massive changes. Going back when we, 14, 15 years ago, we used to use boards with chalk, little small boards. Now we're all electrified with these big LED boards and computers and everything else. It's all, it's all a benefit for the punters. Everything is on the ticket now where we used to use the old-fashioned tickets where it was just a number. And they have everything printed on your ticket now. Your name, your horse, the price, how much you've had on, how much you have to get returned if it wins or if it's placed. It's, it's, all, it's all for the better. And how did you manage when the, you know, there was wind and rain and, and you had a chalkboard up there in front of you? you just the batten down the hatchets like everything else. This, with this stuff now, it's a lot more expensive. These boards, 15, 15 grand's worth of electrical equipment now. You, make, you have to make sure that's all battened down real well. Whereas the old boards, they were metal. They were rough and ready. It was handy enough with them, you know. They could take the battering, but this, this stuff can't. Tell me about the, the particular week that we're into, what, uh, Thursday now. We've been here since Tuesday, and there's no real sign of a recession here at this wonderful festival. There's not, no. There's, there's plenty of money around, good crowds. It's great to see Punchestown. They put, they, they put the effort into it, a big effort in. They get the people in the gate. They spend bars, foods, even good money around the betting ring. It's actually, it's a great uplift for everybody. How do you see the future risk going this evening? Oh... I think I think a lot of the favourites could win today. I think Q Vega will win. Guard Champ Padre will, will take beat in the cross country race. Captain Chris I think will win. And another horse belongs to JP McManus, Dr. Wiz, another favourite. I think today could be the the punter's day. We've had the we've had the best the exchange uh, the exchanges the first two days. I think the punters will get one back on us today. Were you shocked with the performance of Cato Star yesterday? I was and I wasn't. He was either going to do what he did or he was going to beat them 20, 25 lengths. He's probably gone a bit long in the tilt now. Yeah. They had a hard race in Cheltenham. Yeah. It took its toll. Tell me about your prices here today. This, these prices here are for trebles. Special, this is a special bet. Guard Padre and Q Vega to win going into the last race, into the bumper. You pick the winner of the last race, that's how the prices are so big. On the bumper, on these bumper horses, that's how it's so big. It's a special kind of bet. It's not like the ordinary winning each way bet. It's, you have to have three winners to win. They tell us that Punchestown is the Irish answer to Cheltenham. You'd go along with that? I would think Punchestown is probably better than Cheltenham. Betting-wise, around the betting ring, compared to Cheltenham, I think it's, I think it's better than Cheltenham myself. It's better than Cheltenham for me, and anyway. And of course, it's it's a great family uh, event here. Oh yeah, should you see you see gangs of girls coming here, mothers, fathers, kids. So Saturday here, the place will be packed to the rafters with families, you know. Yeah. And Punchestown have really made a big, big effort. They put the time, they put the money, and the effort into it, and they're getting the just rewards. They deserve it. John Griffin, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.